I saw this post on Twitter from an Israeli page, and I want to show it to you. So they're saying here uh, that menaish, because th this dish is called menaish or menakish. It's an Arabic dish. And they're saying that this is uh, part of, you know, it's, it's, it's a, a commonly found in Israeli cuisine and so on. I mean, this is insulting. This is ridiculous. I want to show you what I wrote on Twitter. I said, this is what you call cultural appropriation and theft. Israel trying to pass off menaish, a purely Syrian and Levantine dish, as Israeli food. And it's true. I've seen them do this with hummus. I've seen them do this with falafel. This is, I'm, this is not a joke. This is not like over one tweet. This is something you see in supermarkets. You sometimes see uh, falafel or you see hummus and you, you, you see it's made by uh, um, an Israeli company and they're trying to pass it off as Israeli food. There's sometimes you, you go to an international, um, uh, like if you have an international food stand, right? And you have all these dishes from every country. The Israelis, they have Arabic food. At their stand, which is, I mean, <laughs> what the fuck am I supposed to say, right? The, 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 the level of theft, it has no, is no end. There's no end to it, you know? And they do this with hummus, they do this with falafel, and now menaish. And for, I mean, I was already angry about the hummus and falafel, I'm kind of used to that, but I saw menaish, I was like, what? This is a Syrian dish. And of course, uh, I got, uh, um... Hadi in the comments who said uh, it's Lebanese and that he will fight me about it. But okay, you know, this is funny. Like, you know, uh, between Arabs, we joke about this, right? I'm Nimza. It's, it's okay. Like, you know, I don't mind if, he, if, if someone Lebanese says it's Lebanese or someone Palestinian says Palestinian. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, we have a common culture. But an Israeli, I mean, what, 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 what are they talking about? What do settler colonizers have to do with, with our food? Which, you know, this is... This is what it's about, man. This is about not just cultural appropriation, but uh, uh, theft and on every degree, right? So they're not only stealing the land, the Palestinian land, most of all, they're stealing the Syrian land, Golan Heights, Lebanese land, Shiba farms, but also the food. So again, this is part of the uh, plan to sort of legitimize themselves. They want to appear like, look, we have, <laughs> we have a uh, um, uh, cuisine, we have our own cuisine, we have our own dishes, we have um, our own, um, you know, our own history, and then they take archaeological digs and 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 ruins and uh, uh, try to claim them as their own. I I saw this just the other day. They find I think a wine. They found a winery. Some archaeologists dug up a winery in Gaza. Right? It's it it it, it was wine from Gaza, and they were saying it's Israeli. I've also heard stories about archaeological. Um, uh, digs, so we're talking about antiquities and, uh, um, and archaeological finds being taken from Iraq, being taken from Syria to Israel so that the Israelis can claim them as their own. But you can see these, this is like a, a trend. It's not a one-off thing. This is something that they do constantly, right? And then they go and they join the African Union, and then they go and try to, like, like we were talking about earlier, they want to participate in European things. They, they try in every possible way to legitimize the settler colony and paint it as a country. They, they want everyone to fall for this idea that uh, it's, not, it's not a colonization project. It's not a white supremacist uh, uh, colonizer project cre created by Europeans. You know, it, it, no, it's, it's a, just a nation that happens to be there. And, and, you know, everyone is being irrational. And, oh, by the way, have you tried Armenia each? <laughs> uh, this, this, is, this is messed up. And it's not about food. You, you need to understand something. Like, you know, it's not about sharing food, you know. You go ahead and eat it, sahtanuhana. But when you claim something uh, as your own and you're trying to fabricate a culture, uh, because again, Zionism is a political ideology, you know, barely a hundred years old. Israel itself, you know, our, our, our grandmothers <laughs> were older than Israel, uh, Allah yarhamun. So, yeah, you know, they're trying to come here and make you think that this is native to them. No, these people are, are most of them, they come from around the world, from Europe, from wherever. They're not native to this area. Never mind, you know, uh, 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 any connection to Menaish or something. This is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous, and I'm not going to tolerate this. And you know, there is actually, um, there's actually a a meme underneath, which I wholeheartedly agree with. 
And it says, uh, to call hummus a traditional Israeli dish constitutes aggression. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> I, I know people use that as a meme, but it's true. And this is, this is something to be, to be talked about because, uh, again, you know, it's, it's, it's uh, a theft and appropriation on multiple levels. The land, the culture, the food, and uh, trying to legitimize the occupation. This is really the crux of the issue. It's not about, you know, pastries or, or, or you know, menaish or something. It's, uh, that's just one part of it. So there you go. Uh, and, you know, I mean, Ar Arabs themselves can't even agree on whose it is, right? So Lebanese will say, no, it's Lebanese, and Syrians will say, no, it's Syrian, and Palestinians will say, no, it's Palestinian, <laughs> you know, um, uh, depending on what it is. And, and, you know, they will fight over who can make the best one. So Arabs don't even know whose it is between Arabs, never mind Israelis. You know what I'm saying? So this is a comment underneath the post saying they're trying to take Shirazi salad and rename it to Israeli salad. The name literally translate to salad from Shiraz, as in Shiraz, Iran. How are they going to take something that has a GPS tracker in its name? Shirazi salad is as old as the date tomatoes arrived to Iran. So again, this is, you know, uh, it, it's a common theme, a recurring theme. You feel me?